Hey, what's up guys? Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change your iPhone 5's carrier logo. Yes, this is a video that I've gotten so many requests on, so I figure I better get it done. Now, I will be showing you this on Mac. There are two different versions. Obviously, there's a Mac version and a Windows version. Now, they are different, but Windows users, you can still watch this tutorial because it's basically the same concept, and it's going to work the same as the Mac version. Uh, also, Windows users, you're going to want to download the Mac version as well because the Mac version comes with a set of Zeppelin logos that you can use to change your carrier logo with. Uh, just the straight Windows version does not come with any logos. So Windows users, go ahead and download them both. Mac users, you can just download just the Mac version. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to launch Carrier Editor. That's what it is for uh, the Mac. If I can let this kind of load up here. So where is it? carrier editor right there so as you can see right here it says welcome to carrier editor it's basically going to walk you through each and every step it's really straightforward uh, just a really easy hack to do here so let's go ahead and click let's get started now it's going to ask you for your carrier version number now we're going to go ahead and jump over to my iPhone 5 and now where you find this uh, number is going to settings and let me back out here go ahead and go to general about and then if you look down towards the bottom there, you can see Carrier. I am on AT&T, and it is 13.4. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the Carrier version number, 13.4. Now, yours is probably going to be different than mine, so don't put in 13.4 unless that's what yours is. Just make sure you check to see what your version is. So now we're going to go ahead and click Next. It's going to ask you what device you're on. I'm on the iPhone. This will work for the iPad as well, so... Uh, if you're watching this and you have a iPad with LTE or 3G, you can change your carrier logo using this method as well. So I'll leave it on iPhone. And then here's where you select your carrier. I am obviously on AT&T. And then we're going to go ahead and click Next. Now this is where you can drag and drop the logos you want to use. Now I'm sure some of you are going to ask me in my previous video, well how did I get the Nero logos? Well, basically, I SSH'd them out of my jailbroken iPhone 4 that has that Zeppelin add-on pack from Cydia. So I basically kind of uh, transferred them from my iPhone 4 onto my Mac and then threw them into uh, right here to put them on my iPhone 5. Now, like I said, the Mac version does come with a set of Zeppelin logos themselves, so that's what I'm going to be using for this video. So here is the folder Zeppelin Logos. This will come with your download. Go ahead and open that up. And then in each one of these folders is a different logo. I currently have the Apple logo on my iPhone 5 right now. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch it to, uh, let's do the cloud. So here's the black and then there's the etched. And it will uh, show you over here black slash white and then etched. So all you got to do is drag the logo and drop it for both versions. And, and that's basically it. We can go ahead and minimize this. And then we can do compile carrier update. And then boom, right here on your uh, desktop, we'll drop the original and the new version. Now, my original is actually changed. It's to what is on my iPhone right now. So the original is the Apple logo. So the first time you do this, make sure that you save that very original, just in case you want to convert back. Otherwise, uh, you can just restore your device and it will, you know, completely redo it. But that's a lot of work just to, uh, you know, get your AT&T logo back is to completely restore it. Now, the next part is how to install the custom carrier update. You can click that button and go through their steps. I'm just going to show you. It's really quite simple. Uh, just go ahead and make sure that your device is plugged in via USB. And then go ahead and open up iTunes. And then go ahead and stop that from syncing and I'm going to go ahead and go to my iPhone 5. Now Mac users you're going to want to hold option and then click on restore iPhone. So hold option, click restore and this is where you select your new carrier logo. So I'm on 13.5 uh, now so I'm going to go ahead and select that and then just click open. Now the first time you do this it should automatically change that logo immediately without you having to do any actions. For me, since I've done it a few times, uh, I do have to go one step further. If you guys saw my previous video on how to make a respring button, this is where that's going to come in handy. So I'm going to go ahead and use my respring button. Notice that it is still a Apple logo. And I'm going to go ahead and respring my device. 
and boom as you can see it changed to the cloud which is my new version so that's basically all there is to it guys it's pretty simple straightforward uh, really easy hack to do on your iPhone 5 uh, just one of those things that's really cool to be able to change it and make it you know kind of customized to your liking and make it a little different than everybody else's uh, and that's gonna be it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did be sure to throw that thumbs up if you guys have any questions you can go ahead and ask down in the comments and if you want to see more tutorials like this be sure to click that subscribe button this has been Jeremy with everything I device and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace Please, uh...